71-55 win over UNC Wilmington. Uh, how big was it for you guys going into the Christmas break to uh, end the, the calendar year with a win? Well, I think it's big for us, certainly anytime you can get a win, and, and I thought our kids played very hard. I thought they really played with a lot of energy. Um, it's certainly a great to go into Christmas break, and, and certainly heading into the conference season on a win is always a good thing. Uh, UNC Wilmington, uh, very sizable, especially down the post, had a lot of 6'3", 6'4", post players, uh, but you guys out-rebounded them 38-34. to 34. Uh, How are you able to uh, maintain that advantage? Well, I, I think that our, our guards have done a good job. Our post kids can keep their kid away from the basket, and I think our post kids did a good job of that, and uh, our, our guards can kind of come in and clean some things up. Our post kids can't get it, but overall we really focus on team rebounding. And reverse that question on the uh, defensive end, a lot of times the uh, post players struggled to actually catch the ball in an advantageous position on the low block. Was that, was that kind of a game plan for you Well, guys? we were trying to keep them away. And, you know, we really try to keep them, our game plan is keep them away from the rim in any way, shape, or form. And so, you know, that was really important for us. I thought our post kids did a good job of that, keeping away from the basket, um, to maybe to a fault at some point in time because I don't think that we had ball pressure early in the game. We were kind of letting them take any shot they wanted. And I, to our kids' credit, they made an adjustment. Kayla Thacker has really stepped up uh, offensively this season. Tonight seemed like she was everywhere, as, as she usually has 17 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 steals. Uh, was kind of the catalyst at times for the offense. Well, she did, and I, I thought that she, she really did a good job creating some offensive possessions for us with her defense, and that certainly was key. Uh, so, so Kayla, I think, is someone who can make a lot of things happen on the court and, and certainly can do it on both ends because offensively she has the ability to shoot and she has the ability to drive it. And I think that the last couple of games she's done a very good job rebounding offensively as well. And final question, uh, Coach, you had a lot of uh, great bench play tonight. Caitlin Garrity, Rana Gayhart, obviously, uh, but did a tremendous job. And Melody Doss uh, did a tremendous job off the bench uh, really extending that lineup for you guys. I, I thought they really did. I thought all three of those players, uh, Mel Doss, Caitlin Garrity, and Rihanna Gayhart, all came off the bench and made some very positive things happen for us offensively, taking the ball to the basket, hitting shots. Um, defensively, I thought all three of them did a great job coming over and helping. Rian had a big charge when the momentum of the game really started to swing. She took a big charge for us in the second half. So I thought all three of them, as you mentioned, did a great job for us. Kayla, a 71-55 victory tonight against UNC Wilmington. Uh, looking through the pregame warm-ups, uh, Wilmington a very sizable team, a little bit bigger than the Norris. How did you guys uh, overcome that size deficit? You know, we just decided that we need, they're a driving team, so we need to pack in the lane and not let them score inside. We either wanted them to beat us either from the arc, which we wanted them to do, or from inside, not both. So we did a pretty good job containing the paint. Uh, overall, the team shot very well from the field, 48%. That's been kind of a struggle this season uh, for you guys, but a very efficient performance tonight offensively. Uh, the coaches have really been working with us, getting in the gym before practices and shooting, and that really helps us. We get a lot of shots up every morning, so doing extra massages practice has really been helping us. So a win in your non-conference finale, what kind of confidence does this give you guys going into conference play? Um, this is the last game before break and before conference, so definitely coming out on a win is going to give us a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm and ready to play in our conference and gives us more confidence going in saying we can beat these Division I teams. On a 71-55 win tonight over UNC Wilmington. Uh, Wilmington held a pretty considerable size advantage, yet you guys out-rebounded them. Uh, how did you and your fellow post players uh, get that advantage? We've been working really hard on boxing out. Um, we do that a lot of practice, lots of drills that prepare us for these types of situations. So uh, just boxing out, I think, and crashing the boards, it helps us. Uh, a big question going into this season was who was going to be able to come off the bench for Coach, Coach Blitzel White and uh, be able to score. And it seems like you fit that bill yeah, at least one. as of late. <laughs> Melody Doss, cameo appearance. Uh, you've uh, fit that bill nicely coming off the bench uh, lately. Is that a role that you've uh, embraced this season? Well, we're really short on um, personnel, so being able to have the opportunity to go into the game and try and do your best has helped me, um, give me like the toughness and the mental toughness from last year to kind of step up and take that role. Uh, defensively tonight, you guys forced 18 turnovers. Uh, every UNC Wilmington player had a turnover. Uh, what kind of, uh, how, do, how do you guys use your defense to kind of spur your offense? Lots of times we like to double. Uh, Coach always tells us to, um, she gives us the opportunity to double whether we want to or not. Thank you. Um, it's, she says, if the spirit moves you, if you feel like you want to go double, you go ahead and do that. So. Um, Lots of double teaming, we got our, we got our hands on lots of balls, lots of deflections, so deflections help us. Get